Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. So for today's video, I'm going to show you how to actually put the Galaxy livery as well as F1 wheels on that Night Shark that you see right behind me. I actually won that on a podium quite some time back and it's been sitting in the garage ever since. So I guess there's no time like the present to actually use the glitch and turn this Night Shark into something that looks better. Just take note of the requirements. Firstly, you will need a friend to help you with this. You will also need a nightclub with a terabyte inside. You will need to own the Arena Workshop. And in that arena, you will need to have an F1 vehicle as well as a Maxwell Vagrant. You should also have access to the LS Car Meet and own a bike at the very least. You should also have an MOC with this third bay converted into personal vehicle storage. So once you have gotten all that ready, let's move forward into the glitch. So we start off at the LS Car Meet. You will need to call in a bike and park it here and you will need a friend to AFK on that bike while you do the first few steps. Now that your friend has gotten onto your bike, the first thing that you're going to do is to go over to your nightclub. Now you should not be using any personal vehicles to go to the nightclub. You can use a CEO vehicle or you can do a job teleport. And once you're at the nightclub, you will need to go to your terabyte. That's normally at the terabyte garage, but if you're like me and you've glitched your terabyte somehow in the past and it's not in the terabyte garage, then just go to where your current terabyte is. So for me, it's at level three and that's where I'm going. Once you are at the terabyte, just press F to enter. Once you're inside, just press E, wait for about two seconds and then press P to open the pause menu. Once your pause menu is up, press P again to exit the pause menu and then exit the terabyte. What you're going to want to do next is to head over to the arena. Again, do not use a personal vehicle, either use a CEO vehicle or use a job teleport. Now once you are at the arena, go direct to your donor vehicle and since we're doing wheels first, that will be the F1 vehicle. So we'll position this vehicle to block the exit on the door. That will be right here. And you can park it the same way as I do. Once it is nicely parked, we will go to another vehicle and we will use that vehicle to block the other side of this F1 car. All right, so that is nicely blocked. Just do a quick test. Pressing F when you're near the vehicle will make you enter without animation. And that's what we want. Now you will have to stand at an angle between the door and the F1 car so that you can actually see the option to exit. Now if you can't see the option to exit, just go back into your F1 car and move it around a little for more space. So what we're going to do now is to exit the arena and go into the vehicle at the same time. So on PC, that means pressing enter and F at the same time. So if you've done it correctly, you will spawn outside the arena. And the next thing that you have to do is to call the mechanic and ask him to deliver your target vehicle. Now, right after you do the selection on the car you want to call out, you will need to count to 10 and then ask your friend to get off the bike. So here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So once your friend gets off the bike, they will see that it will disappear. So the next step should be calling in your MOC, but you can't call it now because the mechanic is still busy. And we'll have to wait for a phone call from the mechanic where he will tell you that he cannot deliver the car. But while waiting, you can start making your way towards the nearest LS Customs. And there is his call. I'll just go all the way to LS Customs before I call in the MOC. Once you have reached LS Customs, just open up your interaction menu and call the MOC and it should be spawning nearby. Now you will have to enter the MOC first before you can go into LS Customs, else it will not allow you to. So just go to your MOC, go to the blue circle, and then press E to enter.
Now once you're inside, just get back into your F1 vehicle and then exit. Once you're outside, make your way to LS Customs once more and this time you should be able to enter. Once you're inside, just buy the F1 rims that you want as well as the tire design. Remember that you actually have to make a purchase at this time in order for it to transfer over. This is not a merge, it is a transfer. Other things like bulletproof tires, tire color, and even tire smoke can be bought later. And the moment that you're done with all these, you can proceed to exit LS Customs. So that's the first part of what I'm doing today. These wheels should already be on your Night Shark. However, first you will need to go to Creator Mode and then come back online in order for the vehicle to revert back to the Night Shark. After you have come back online, you will see that the vehicle has reverted to the Night Shark and the F1 wheels have been transferred. So what I'm going to do now is to send the Night Shark back to the original garage and we're going to do almost the same process to get the Galaxy livery on. So we start back here at the LS Car Meet where your friend will have to get onto the bike again and stay there until you give them instructions to get off the bike. Once they are on, just make your way to your nightclub. you will need to go into the terabyte level on your nightclub to access your terabyte. So whichever level your terabyte is at, just go into that level. Once you're inside, just proceed to enter the terabyte by pressing F. Once you're inside, press E and wait for 2 seconds, and then press P to open up the pause menu. After that, just close your pause menu and exit the vehicle. Next, you need to go to the arena where your donor car is. And since this is for deliveries, we'll be using Maxwell Wagon as the donor vehicle. get into the Maxwell Wagon and start blocking the exit like how I am doing it in this video. Once you've blocked off one side of the car, proceed to go into another car and use that to block off the other door of the vehicle. Once you have blocked both doors, give it a test. If you can get into the vehicle without animation, then you've got it right. So what we want to do here is to exit the arena and get into the vehicle at the same time. So that means pressing enter and F at the same time in PC. Now if you have done that correctly, you should spawn outside with the vehicle. What you're going to want to do next is to call your mechanic and call the night shark. Now what you have to do here is that the moment you select your night chart, you will have to count to 10 and then you have to tell your friend to get off the bike. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So if you have exposed license plates, you should see that the license plate has changed. So effectively, your Maxwell Vagrant now is a proxy for the night chart. So now just make your way to the nearest LS Customs while waiting for the mechanic to call you to tell you that he cannot deliver your vehicle. Now if the mechanic doesn't call, it doesn't matter as long as you are able to call in your MOC the moment you reach here. So just open up your interaction menu, go to services and call in your MOC. It should spawn somewhere nearby. 
Once your MOC spawns, just go towards the back, go to the blue circle, and press E to enter. Once you're inside, just get back into your vehicle and drive out. Once you're outside, make your way back to LS Customs and you should be able to enter now. So in order to get the Galaxy livery on the Night Shark, head towards the livery section and buy the blue card livery. And that's all you have to buy. Exit LS Customs and from here you should go to Creator Mode and come back into an online session in order to see all the changes to your Night Shark. When you come back online, your vehicle should be near you, and you can see from here that the Galaxy livery has already been transferred onto the Night Shark. So the glitch is already complete, and you are done. However, what I'm going to do here is to go offline and exit the game, and then come back in so that you can see all the actual changes that have been made to the Night Shark. So in the last few patches that Rockstar has made, there has been a few changes, and now you have to exit the game completely in order to see all the changes being infected. If you did not exit the game, and only went to creator mode, you may see that some of your previous upgrades have been cleared, which is not true. So it's best to exit the game and come back to see all the actual changes or transfers that have already been made. It still looks a bit dirty, so I'm just going to put it into LS Customs, have it repaired, and then bring it out again. So if this video has helped you put on wheels and liveries, please do help me out by dropping a like on the video. And if you are new here, I hope that you'll be able to subscribe because I have more such content that's coming up very soon. And that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video very soon.